Good morning, Otters. Today is Thursday, April 22nd, and special is day two, and happy Earth Day. Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the IB pledge. Today, Today I, I pledge to do my best for myself and my school. school. I will I listen and learn, and I will contribute and work hard, and I will always treat others with respect. Let's learn about Earth Day. April 22nd is Earth Day. It is an opportunity for every person to cherish and protect our planet. In the late 1960s, scientists began to realize our environment was growing weaker and less healthy. Many of our great modern innovations like trains, cars, planes, and factories often create pollution and waste. Conservationists and environmentalist pioneers realized that if humans weren't more careful, the planet would get irreversibly damaged and people would have a hard time living here. A senator from Wisconsin named Gaylord Nelson wanted to create a special day for us to acknowledge the state of our planet and work to keep it healthy. He proposed the first Earth Day in 1970. He chose April 22nd so that students could participate through their schools during a season good for outdoor activities. Senator Nelson asked the governors of all 50 states and the mayors of the largest U.S. cities to issue Earth Day proclamations to get people interested. And they were. Earth Day was a huge success. Senator Nelson's idea brought together more than 20 million people nationwide to support one cause, a healthy Earth. The next two Earth Days actually occurred only once a decade, on April 22, 1980 and 1990. But since 1990, Earth Day has been celebrated every year and worldwide, with more than one billion people planting trees, cleaning up trash, stopping pollution, and encouraging recycling and conservation. Things are looking up for the Earth. What do you and your community do to celebrate Earth Day? How are you going to celebrate Earth Day? Share with your teacher now. Thank you to everyone who is dressing up to support the military families. Don't forget tomorrow we wear red to show that we will remember everyone who is deployed. We have a special interview about being a military kid with Walker and Kaylin. Hey everyone, my name is Kaylin. And my name is Walker and we are military kids. Walker, what did your dad do in the military? My dad was in the Air Force and he worked with computers. Wow, that's cool. Kaylin, what does your dad do in the military? He puts missiles on the airplanes. Oh man, that's neat. Walker, what's your favorite thing about being in the, of being a military kid? My favorite thing about being a military kid is all the places I've lived. I've lived in North Dakota, I lived in New York, North Dakota, ever. Virginia, and I love learning about what my dad did in the military. Wow, Walker, that's really cool. I love being a military t kid, too. Thank you to all the other military kids at HHIE for all your service. Thank you for sharing your experiences, Walker and Kaylin. This month, we are going to be celebrating special education and how everyone is different, and some differences can be seen while others can't. Students in Mrs. Hummel's class have a story for you. Good morning, boys and girls. Today I have three student council members here from Ms. Hummel's class that are going to be reading a book called Not So Different by Shane Burkoff. So next Friday, April 30th, you're going to be able to wear any color shirt that you want with your uniform bottoms, because we are celebrating Unified Spirit Day. Celebrating that everyone has different personalities, we have different traits that make us unique, and we are gonna come together as a school to celebrate our unique differences. So we're gonna read a book today about someone's particular differences. So the book is called Not So Different. Hi, my name is Shane Bacall. I bet you have some questions for me. Many people do. They stay on wonder all sorts of things, so I want to answer the most common questions and yours head on. What's wrong with you? Absolutely nothing is wrong with me. I'm just a little different. I was born with a disease called spinal, spinal molecular astrophy. 
or SMA for short, and it makes my and it makes my muscles very weak. It affects all the muscles that help me move my arms, legs, neck, and more. I've even been like this ever since I was a cute little baby. My body doesn't have the proteins it needs to create a new a new muscles, so I can't get stronger by going to the gym and working out. Scientists are working on a lot of different possibilities to treat my disease, but so far they haven't found one that works. Why does your head so much bigger than the rest of your body? I've never been able to walk, and since my disease is progressive, I've gotten weaker as I got older, meaning that my arms are weaker now than when I was a kid. Because my muscles don't go normally, my, my body has stayed pretty small, but my head and my, and my normal brain were not affected by, by the, my disease, so they grew to a normal size. I admit it, it might look a little funny sit, sitting on top of my tiny body. Don't let it get you down, Shane. My head is big and my arms are, sh- are short, but I still am awesome. Um, you're not gonna eat. You're not going to eat me, right? But how do you do things? I need help with a lot of things. Luckily, I have great friends and an amazing family. This is my mom, my dad, and my brother Andrew. No one else in my family has SMA. It's actually very rare and affects only one in every ten thousand babies. But even through they don't have this disease themselves. My family still lives with it every way my help every day by helping me. What do they help you with? Almost everything. They help me with, with they help me shower using special ba- bathtub chair. Then my dad ha- helps me get dressed and my mom helps me comb my hair. So I look handsome. My brother helps me brush my teeth, but he loves to joke around, so I don't let him help me get dressed, or he makes me wear ridiculous outfits. They lift me into bed every single night when it's time to go to sleep, and help and help me roll over in the middle of the night when I'm uncomfortable too. They also help me go to the bathroom by lifting on me into the toilet. I have a special seat that, that I strap into it so I don't fall off. Or in. It's one of my favorite things to do, but since the muscles in my mouth are very weak, I try I, I try to stick with softer foods like mashed potato, mac and cheese, and pizza. Sometimes I eat them all at once. My family helps helps me by cutting up my cutting my food up for me. How does your chair work? Although I get a lot of help from my family, I am able to do a lot of things myself too because I have this awesome motorized wheelchair that helps me move around. I drive it, sing a joystick sort of video game controller. I get a a new chair about every seven years and my doctor helps me pick out the new model that suits my needs. I can drive my chair about as fast as you can ride your bike and I will... And I will safety strap to make sure I don't fall out. I can pop a wheelie with my brother's help. I can even drive it in the snow, but it's very slippery, so I have to drive careful or I'll crash. Once I try to pull my brother to the top of the basketball hoop with a rope tied to my chair, that broke my chair motor, which was very expensive to replace. My wheelchair costs more than a brand new car, and since it's so important to me, I try my hardest to take very care, to take very good care of it. Please ask me before you touch it. Can you climb stairs? Stairs are impossible, but luckily most places have a wheelchair accessible. I can use ramps instead, where they are available. But I have an elevator in many in my room that helps me get to the basement. You drive. I am. I have a specially equipped van. I get. And I get into using a ramp. Once I'm inside, my family and friends help me strap my chair to the van floor so it stays stable when we drive. Although I don't have to drive myself since my arms are so weak. I love going on road trips with my friends. How do you play with your friends? My friends and I do a lot of the same things together that you 
you like to do. We play video games, go to the beach, and hang out and talk. We also love to make each other laugh. We love to play sports together. We have to find different ways to play so I can participate using my wheelchair. But we always make it work. For an example, when we play football, instead of tackling, I just run them over. When we play soccer, I am able to hit the ball with the wheels of my chair. But I have to be careful too. One time when I was playing soccer, I forgot to put my safety straps on and flipped out of the chair onto my head. Ouch. People ever make fun of you? Occasionally, and it hurts my feelings. But if they didn't be better, they would see that I'm not so different. Um, I believe it's very important not to judge a book by its cover. So when you meet someone who looks different from you, it's always best to treat them with kindness and respect. After all, the person might end up be becoming one of your best friends. I love making new friends, so if you see me out and about, don't be afraid to come up and say hello. Thank you for reading, boys and girls, from Ms. Hummel's class. Don't forget, April 30th, everyone wear your favorite color shirt to show that we are all different and that we are all coming together to celebrate our differences. See you then. That's right, on Friday, April 30th, you can wear any colored shirt to celebrate that we are all different but come together as one. Are you looking for a way to take action? This afternoon, the Early Act Club is hosting a beach cleanup from 4 to 5.30 p.m. There will be prizes for the largest piece of trash found. Are you looking for a fun activity to do this weekend? You need to check out the Matilda play that will be this weekend on April 24th and 7 p.m. on April 25th at 2 p.m. You will even see students from HHIE in it. Hope to see you there. Now it's time for the joke of the day. How do you know flowers are friendly? I don't know. They always have new buds. Ha ha ha. Well, that's all for today's show. I'm Emily. And I'm Ashley. Have, have a, a great day, day, otters. <laughs>